guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am reviewing a different new foundation. Now I have always seen this foundation, not always, I guess it wasn't always there, but I have been noticing this foundation in Sephora for a while and for some reason I just never gravitated towards it. However, with the struggle of trying to find a foundation that works right for my skin tone, that isn't too orange, that isn't too greasy, and all of that jazz, um, I ended up trying out this one. And it was funny because when I tried it out, so many of my friends were like, oh yeah, like I, I've heard good things, I've heard bad things, or I've seen it, but I've never tried it. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I put it on and how it lasted for me, all that jazz. Um, and then yeah, kind of tell you what my thoughts were on it. So if you wanna see how I applied it and what it wore like through the day, then you're gonna wanna keep on watching. All right, this is what the foundation looks like in the container. It says a full, co a full coverage water thin foundation provides a weightless long wearing matte finish. Silicone free formula won't clog pores so skin can breathe. Blurring microspheres minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines and imperfections for a smooth, flawless looking skin. Formula is housed in a mess free, no drip, airtight package. Directions. Shake well before use. Apply one to two drops to the center of the face and blend outward. Layer as needed. So, let's give it a try. Now in Sephora, it took me and the girl so long to pick up a foundation for me. And she was like, oh, we'll just use the color match thing. And I was like, like that machine? And I was like, honestly, every time you guys do that, my face ends up coming out so orange. And then we went around, honestly, to probably like six different stations. And it was like, when you could find the level of darkness... For me, it would be orange, and if you found something yellow enough for me, it was like too light. So anyways, we got this color um, in medium tan. He said one to two drops, ooh, but like, kind of comes out. How do you make it a drop? What's a drop? Is that a drop? I'm gonna try with this. All right, let's go. I feel like I need more than two drops to do my face. It just doesn't move very far. Maybe the fact that it's water, like water-based. I don't know if I've used a water-based foundation before. But it's covering everything. What do you think? I don't really think there's like that much of a difference between this side and this side of my face. I always find it's very different when I look back at the footage, but I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna put another couple drops like that. All right, let's do the other side. Looks a little shiny right now. Hopefully that mats down a bit. But I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then um, I'm going to wear it throughout the day. I'm at home, I'm working at home all day today. But I think I should still get a good idea of what this wear is like. So yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I will check back in with you guys once. I've worn the makeup a little bit. Okay guys, I'm about to get in the shower and this is what the makeup looks like. Um, I filmed that at like 8.45 this morning and it is about 9.20 at night. And I still think it looks really good. Um, it does feel a little bit tacky now and my fingers are like shiny when I touch my face. But um, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's matte but I don't think it's like a dewy finish either. I feel like I just look normal and I don't think I've ever been complimented on my makeup so much um, from people that see me all my time, all the time. My boyfriend, two of my clients, three of my clients actually, and then my roommate. So five people and no one knew that I tried on anything new today. So crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna go wash this off and then um, I'll sit down and chat with you guys. Let me know my final look. All right, guys. So you kind of saw my first impressions. You kind of saw how it wore throughout the day. Now let's see what the Sephora website says about it. It says it's full coverage. Now, if I was going through a big 
bad bout of hyperpigmentation, I don't think that this would be a full coverage foundation. My skin is doing quite well right now, so it worked perfectly for me, but I don't think that it would have been the fullest coverage foundation if my skin was bad. Now, it's good for sensitive skin, normal skin, combination, and oily. It's good for everyone, so that's good. It says to shake well to activate blurring microspheres, then apply one to two drops to fingertips or the dab blend applicator. I don't have the applicator. I definitely use more than one to two drops, but maybe like two and a half to three drops was more than enough. Apply focusing on the center of the face and then blending outward, layer as desired. Now, I don't do that. I don't start in the middle of my face. However, I will say that this foundation, the more that you um, work it in and blend it out was like the more coverage that you get. Now at first I thought that it didn't feel like it was going to move that far across my face, but it's just not as fluid as some other foundations, I'm guessing because it's silicone free and all of that stuff. So you really have to work it into the skin, but it will cover all the square footage on your face. It says for oily skin, prep with blur matte stick. Um, it's a primer that's sold separately to absorb excess oil, then apply foundation and follow with blur spray. Now, I haven't been using that. However, um, if I don't set this a little bit, I do get ridiculously oily. If I do set it, then I'm all right. So take it, leave it, use a setting powder or buy their special primer. For dry skin, prep with sunshine oil, sold separately, or your favorite moisturizer, then apply foundation on top. As for the ingredients, the blurring microspheres, powder-filled spheres, diffuse the light to create a blurring effect. Vitamin E hydrates and provides an antioxidant protection. Bilberry extract provides antioxidant protection to support naturally elasticity, natural elasticity and suppleness. And then there's like just like a bunch of like ingredients that I cannot say. Now seriously guys, I have never had so many compliments on my skin than when I wore this foundation. It was crazy. And honestly, I do think my skin looks really good. Um, yeah, so I'm surprised because I didn't think that this was going to go as well as it did. <laughs> I think it's got a great price point. It covers my skin great. I don't think my face looks too cakey. I think it looks like skin. It's a great color match for me. I like it. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little review and demo. If you did, I would love if you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, I would love if you did. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.